Well, Atomic Brother is a three-piece band deriving from the uh, New York City metropolitan area. It's basically just Sebastian and I, and um, that'd be two people. That'd be two people, exactly. <laughs> but um, we've had a number of different drummers since we started the band. Mostly people that we consider to be friends. We're lucky enough as musicians to know a lot of really great musicians. And um, when we started the band, we kind of decided that it was just going to be the two of us because uh, we'd had so many problems in the past with other musicians flaking out and things. We decided that we were the only people each other could count on, so that was going to be the band. And uh, what was the other rule we had about the songwriting? Oh, uh, we're the only ones who can write the songs, right. and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. And uh, and I think we we also said like one one of the cool things about this band is that um we don't really pay attention to a particular style or or kind of music that we play. We just kind of uh, write whatever we write, and if we both feel that it's a good song, we'll record it and play it. It really doesn't matter to us whether it's rock or metal or punk or funk or folk or blues or any number of other categories. It, you know, a good song is a good song, and we all like music from all different artists of all different genres, so it's just kind of how it goes. Music is just something that I don't think I can get through a day without music. If I don't hear music at any point of the day, I'll probably be banging on something and just totally stressed out. It's just... It's your release. It kind yeah. of feeds, you know. It's like it's like your little cave, your closet that you can retreat to when yeah. when things are going bad or, or even good, you know. And every mood has music, you know. Music is basically mood food. And if you're in a good mood, you listen to music that gets you more pumped. If you're in an upset mood for some weird reason, you listen to music that gets you more depressed. I don't know why that seems to work, but it, it does for everybody. And you know, music just has inspired since the day that I picked up a guitar and since the day that Sebastian and I met, our first day of college, we met when we were at Berkeley. And, I think we were 18 years old and both wound up in the same cafeteria and my roommate knew, knew him. Or no, it was your roommate was from my hometown and we wound up sitting at the same table and Sebastian and I had a conversation about music and two days later we're in a studio practicing and you know, we kind of been playing together in different, different incarnations of different bands ever since until we started Atomic Brother a few years back. Arguing and writing music again. Yep. I would say our main reason is is just to get that message to get the message across to kids that you can take on art, music, or any of your other interests at that age specifically, the ages between like, you know, ten and eighteen, because you have more time at that point in your life than any other time in your life because you know you have your parents pretty much taking care of all the bills and you know, you go to school and you do your thing, but then you've got this big gap of time, you know, between the time you get out of school and the time that you know, you have to be home or have to go to bed, and we want to get the, get the point across to kids that um, if you use that time wisely, and like Sebastian and I, we learned instruments, you know, some people are really into horseback riding, some people like photography, some people are, are really good as, as a painter or an artist. Do that and do as much of it as you can, as often as you can, so that when life gets really hard when you're a little bit older, um, you kind of have coping mechanisms all set up and ready to go. And that's kind of our, our, our big message, I think, for the teen centers, and you know, other than that, we really just kind of want to give back and help out a little bit. Yeah, we both came from small towns that didn't have teen centers. And yeah. our after-school programs, there weren't really a lot, unless you were a jock. And, you know, we're not <laughs> jockey guys. So, uh, you know, if I didn't have my base uh, to play after school, you know, I might have been out with everybody else causing trouble, you know, um, with shoplifting or whatever, but, you yeah. know, Instead, I, you know, I learned music, I, I played my instrument, and, you know, and it just, you know, kept me on a good path, which is, you know, yeah. you know, at the teen centers, kids can meet other kids that have that interest, you know. For me, I had to wait until I was like 16, 17 to meet other people that played, you know, rock instruments, otherwise it was just in the band. Yeah, and a lot of these teen centers, like, have programs set up where they, where they teach, they'll teach guitar and bass and drum lessons, they have people there doing it, and... You know, some of them have really killer skate parks, like within the on the grounds, and you know, we, we kind of wish that they they were around back when back when we were kids. You know, it probably would have helped out a little bit. And um, and, and also like it, it's really hard for a lot of these teen centers to to stay afloat. It, within the process, within the last two weeks, we lost two teen centers that were going to participate in the show, and um, one was because they couldn't afford to pay the guy that was organizing the show, so they had to lay him off, and the other one, I believe the whole teen center shut down because of some kind of problem with the plumbing or something it was. Yeah, yeah with the heating and they lost their building. Yeah. So until, you know Yeah, until they can afford to pay for that, you know, which some of this money might have been able to help with. Right.
If people want to get involved in uh, the Teen Strong America or Teen Strong New Hampshire, they can contact us at teenstrong.atomicbrother.com, um, where they can, if they're a teen involved with the Teen Center, can contact us to sign up to get your teen centers involved or to buy tickets um, and to find out where which teen centers are participating to get teen tickets from them. And we're also uh, looking for sponsors to help put on these events and through teenstrong.atomicbrother.com you can uh, get in touch with us to become a sponsor. Awesome.